We have an announcement. Theoretically, we may have stumbled upon the world's best chest exercise. Hey folks, I'm Dr. Mike Isertel for Renaissance Periodization. And technically for Stronger by Science, this is Milo Wolf. That's me. Right? You're a coach for SBS? I'm a coach for my own company, for SBS, you know. Oh, you've got your own company. My word. Milo is the world expert on range of motion and training. And that's not an exaggeration because he really is. You are the author of the most preeminent review and your entire doctoral work is essentially on range of motion and training. That's correct. We have an announcement. Theoretically, we may have stumbled upon the world's best chest exercise. Because we are both scientists, we have to make a caveat. Because of individual differences, because of variation, you can't actually have a world's best anything exercise. Why? An amazing exercise that theoretically checks all the landmarks could for one person be fucking beautiful and could for another just hurt their shoulders and or just not give them a big pump or big soreness or big progression or anything. And all of a sudden you're like, okay, well, theory is theory, but that doesn't fucking work. Like if someone says, this is the best restaurant in the world, you can take a hundred people to it. They love it. You can take one guy to it. And he's like, I didn't like it. And you're like, what are you going to tell him that he's supposed to like it? All right, whatever. It's not forever. Variation. Even if you have a king shit exercise, Stainless is real. And at some point, nine months into doing that exercise, you're like, you know what? Fuck this. Anything else will be better at this point. You try that anything else, it gives you less joint pain irritation, less psychological, ugh, I don't want to do this anymore, bigger pumps, more soreness for less volume. And all of a sudden, even if it's just for a few weeks or a few months, that different exercise is better. There is an analogy to this that I probably shouldn't say, but I'll say anyway, when you know what I'm saying, you've been with the same girl for a long time, Anything else is better. Watermelon, hole cut in it. The world's best chest exercise with the nuanced context that it really, yes, of course, there's all this nuance. My proposal, and I want to see how my, Milo takes to it, the cambered bar bench press. Here are the advantages. Number one, it puts you in an accentuated loaded stretched position, which your research has leaned is probably the most hypertrophic. Big green check mark, yes? Yep. So far, so good. Yep. Second, this implement allows you the stability, loadability, and small progressive element of a barbell. You can put two and a half pounds on there, you can put five, you can put 10. You have the ability to make it universal for all humans and body sizes. Cause like, if you say a machine is the best, you get someone who's five foot one on there, mm -hmm. like your girlfriend or whatever. And she's like, I can't use this. And you're like, oh God damn it. You put someone who's six, three on there and they're like, I can't use this. And you're like, okay, fuck. But for most people, the camber bar bench really just it accommodates almost everyone. Unless you're so big that you can't fit through the camber. Holy shit. Then why the hell are you lifting? You won already. It's got all those benefits and the barbell tends to be a relatively stable thing. With dumbbells, there's some instability that may be a little bit less hypertrophic because you spend time stabilizing. All the research we have on BOSU balls and standing on them, the hypertrophy is really dog shit because you're just balancing. Not the same thing with dumbbells, but with a barbell, man, you track and you're good to go. Yep. So far, so good. So far, so good. And then lastly, we have the idea that for machines, anytime you have a machine, the eccentric is a little bit reduced because of the friction, but the friction is added to the concentric, which means the ratio of concentric eccentric is concentric loading is a bit higher fractionally than eccentric. But from theoretical work, we understand that eccentric is, is probably really grows a lot of muscle, maybe a little bit more than concentric, even if it's tied, yeah. it's probably a little bit more in the eccentric realm. So because it's a barbell free weight movement, you get all the eccentric loading. Is there a chest exercise you can think of that on those or other metrics is theoretically, hypothetically superior to the cambered bar bench? What do you think? The closest I can get, and again, caveats of individualization, a lot of people, for example, find this exercise difficult on their shoulders, mm -hmm. would be the dumbbell fly. Yes. Dumbbell fly is relatively stable, not as stable as the bench, relatively loadable though you the have to add reps at some point sure. which is totally fine yep. adding reps i was on that study uh schoenfeld study about repetition it works totally great 
um, it's it's an isolation movement, so it's not compound movement, which isn't a dig at it. For chest, it's fine. Yeah. For chest, it's totally fine. So the cambered bar bench press, I can make another dig at it. It is really the golden fleece. But, oh, God damn it, everyone has dumbbells to do presses and flies with. Where the fuck are you going to get a cambered bar? My best recommendation is if you're serious about lifting, honestly, the thing costs like 250 bucks. You can just fucking get it shipped to you. As far as barbells go, that's fucking cheap. cheap. And if you don't have $250, just save like $25 a month for 10 months, and then you have $250. Anytime people say, I don't have that kind of money, I'm like, you just don't want to save money, yeah. which is totally cool. But because I'm Jewish, it's not totally cool. And it's anathema to me, and it offends me. If you can't save money, what are you doing? Being that you're Austrian and I'm Jewish, you have a bit of a history there, don't we? A little bit. Yeah. It's all love. Now. Now. Back then, I'm saying. Back it was then, real. They, back then, they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They're all on me. So, Camberg Bar Bench, if you have access to it, if you can talk to your gym owner to buy you one, or if you can get a bar yourself, big tip is control that eccentric. Mm -hmm. If you can get all the way down, amazing. If you can't, no worries. Just go as deep as you can. Pause for one or two seconds at the bottom. It makes the exercise safe. It makes the exercise super effective because you spend even more time pulling your muscles into bits. Lockout doesn't have to be full. You can get just above parallel or something like that and then come back down. Or you can do a full lockout, no problem. The camber bar bench has a double sticking point. It's really weird. Yep. You stick here and then you stick here again. It's the weirdest thing in the world. It's the, so challenging. And my last recommendation is load and sets. Take your normal bench press weight, cut it at least in half. Do the normal sets you do for chest, cut those also in half because this is such a stimulative movement and so challenging, it'll fuck you up with almost nothing. Do not put your regular bench press weight on there. As soon as you get down to the bottom, you're like, holy shit, it's going to be terrible. Lastly, if you really had to think it through, have you ever considered going to art school in Austria? Yes. And what kept you from art school in Austria? I'm going to get myself canceled if we keep going down this joke. Because I think I'm allowed to make Jewish jokes, but you never can tell, can you? Can't. History in it. In it? It's gone long before. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I've talked myself into a whole bunch of nonsense as usual. Milo has been more than happy. Milo, if people are curious about your body of work and about your body in general, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at Wolf Coach. That's my last name, Wolf. Do you actually coach. coach wolves? I don't. You should get into I it. I didn't just become an animal either. It's right. my actual last name. Right. Which is cringe. You have two wolves inside you at any time. And what are they doing? One of them is me. I'm enjoying myself. And the other one is whatever wolf you personally have. Exactly. Great. Yes. Excellent. At Wolf Coach on Instagram. <laughs> uh, Milo Wolf on YouTube. Okay. And my actual body of work, by which I mean my studies, that would be if you Google Milo Wolf Research Gate, you'll find oh, all Oh, excellent. Research. Excellent. So, Folks, look into that. And uh, Milo, huge pleasure having you on the channel. Thank you, sir. Try the camera bench press. See you guys next time. Peace. What do you get when PhD sports scientists collaborate with pro bodybuilders? The most effective muscle growth training app ever made. Get yours now 